Hi, Dean. <laughs> <laughs> So Tony has done myself a huge favor and he's like posted all the chats so like like we do for our live shopping He now has all the chats on my secondary screen up here instead of just telling me everything and Dean um, Is talkative this morning. I don't know if this is always what it looks like, but also Liz you said Dean. Well, you know, it's bound to happen from time <laughs> from time to time Alrighty, what is up everybody? What's going on? So we are on part two of the legacy briefcase here in the final countdown. This is three days to go. Yep, three days Three days to go for me. Three days to go. I'll be gone We're forever. We're not going to talk about it, though, because... You just brought it up. I get emotional. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. So we are... We are on the countdown. No, the pattern is not ready. We told you last Friday that it would be ready this coming Friday, and today is still Wednesday. Yes. So, Dean... I've still got time. Hush. I've still got asking, time. And we'll be ready until a year from Friday. Yeah, if you keep, like, Tony is a spiteful guy. Um, and he will, <laughs> he will push He'll it off. He'll just hang on to it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. He'll just, he's just going to hoard it. He might, like, show you every once in a while and be like, I got it, but you don't get it because you were asking too much. <laughs> do, your, do your children ask, are we there yet in the car? They used to. They used to. Did we you, never, like, leave them on the side of the road? Getting anywhere. <laughs> I was gonna say. <laughs> All righty, folks. Well, we've I'm sure have a busy day ahead of us. Huh? Yeah, we do have a fairly All right, busy so I'll day. Stop gabbing and let this guy do some work. Uh, so what we're gonna hope to accomplish today is we're gonna uh, finish up our front panel assembly, and then we're gonna start assembling our gussets and attaching them to our center panel divider and our front panel. So we're basically gonna get this whole front half done, right? And then we're gonna continue on and start work on the interior pockets, some of the features on the inside. Um, and if we make it that far, you know, we, we might, if we get far enough to the back panel, we might go ahead and do that zipper pocket. But I think that's going to be plenty of, of content for, what, an hour and a half? For an hour and a half, yep. Yeah. Alrighty. There is one little thing that we have to tell you guys. Yeah. Uh, we th There was a little snafu that happened, but it's not a, it wasn't a big deal. No, we were it's able to fix it. Clayton double-checked during the video that he was sewing the pocket down to the correct amount of panels, but turns out he was mistaken. I was wrong. I was wrong. <laughs> so if you look back at the end of the last video, I sewed this bottom strip onto our front pockets. Let's see if we can hold it up. There you go. I sewed this bottom strip right here onto our front pocket assembly, right? And and I checked on the inside of the pockets on the inside of the briefcase to see if there was a stitch line that it went through and there wasn't but this is a lined panel right because it's got this interior pocket um, so what I did was I actually laid this strip down and stitched through those pockets and through this front panel of the zipper pocket through that panel right there but not through the liner right and so whenever I did it last time, I only went through the pockets. So Liz was kind enough to pull the stitching for me yesterday while I was out of lunch. And uh, yeah, so we just opened this back panel back up. We just pulled the, the contacts and then apart where the pocket was. And then we just re sewed that seam to the yep. middle. So now I'm going to glue that back together. Yep. Okay. I'm going to start doing that. We're going to glue that back up and I'm going to get started assembling the gussets. So the gussets used on these are really similar to the Explorer backpack. Is that what I called it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Explorer backpack pattern that I did last time. Uh, same style of gussets and they go together really simple. And make beautiful sharp radius corners. Are you talking about the backpack behind you? Nope. Okay. Nope, that's the Voyager. Okay. That's the Voyager. The last one I did was out of the natural harness, you remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I do remember that. All right, so in this pattern, we've got four of our main body gusset pieces, the side gussets, and then two of the bottom gussets. And these are all gonna be combined to make those two accordion style gussets that go on the side of the bag. So basically, we're gonna start by taking one of these uh, side panels and we're gonna match it up flesh side to flesh side. We're gonna match up those, those uh, straight edges right there, flush, just like I have it. And we're going to go ahead and stitch just between the goal post right there, for lack of a better term, between, between the tabs. So let's go ahead and do it on this one. So Clayton, did you come up with this gusset or did you see this somewhere? I, I doubt I came up with it. I probably saw it off a bag. Yeah. yeah. I don't think I can take credit for this. It's just, it's too simple and, and brilliant. It's ingenious. It is. I really like it. 
we we'll just say that you came up with it. Okay, I don't think I did, but okay, I can't take credit for this. You gotta be a world champion for that. And I'm five times running, so. <laughs> five times running? Yeah. So watch your back, Clayton. <laughs> Alright, so I got that on one side of the bottom gusset. We're gonna do the same thing. Take another side gusset and put it on the other side of the bottom gusset, just like I did that first one. We're still rocking the Rinia today, guys. Just, you know, for Don't all of ask. you. <laughs> Dean definitely already did. <laughs> I will, I mean, since it is different from our standard sarcastic comment, <laughs> I'll allow it. I'll allow it. Mama Liz. <laughs> Put her foot down. A little kid out there. I did have to compliment Andy yesterday, Clayton, because when I was gluing, yeah, I, I felt like it was the appropriate time to do that. And he's not watching today because I have him teaching a bunch of middle schoolers how to stamp keychains <laughs> um, up north of town. So he, he. <laughs> but um, <laughs> jokes on him. Yeah, so I can I can compliment him because I doubt he's gonna rewatch the video. I hope not, anyways. But yeah, so I uh, when I pulled all this apart and I was having to like re-glue that little front panel back to the, the main front body here, the pieces lined up just very, very nicely. And it all came together quite lovely. Nice. So I said, I, at first I, I was talking to Ryan and I was like, you did a good job cutting out the pieces here. And then Andy gave me a sad look and he was like, it was me. <laughs> it was me. It was me. That's my interpretation of what happened. That may definitely, not be what happened. Definitely need some words of encouragement sometimes. And if you are making this bag, all of these seams are exposed and finished. So you really want to make sure you got a good glue job on all your edges and everything is glued right up to the edge so that you don't have any weird gaps when you're finishing your edges because that's just no good. Yeah. It's very unprofessional. Very unprofessional. Very unprofessional. I would hate to see that on a briefcase. <laughs> Nobody's going to take you seriously if your edges come apart. Yeah. That's no good. discovered that I have other dogs. Oh yeah? Is she giving you a good sniff down? Yeah. She gets in my bag like, who are these? <laughs> have you been cheating on me? Yeah. All right. So we've got our gussets glued together. You can see I've got both of them assembled here. Make nice little M's. Look at those little cute things. Yeah. So again, flesh side to flesh side. You just gotta stitch right across that gap right there. And then we're ready to go ahead and I'm going to kind of train this seam out a little bit. So I'm going to start kind of bending this leather up so that it'll lay on our bag nicely. And you can see how this is going to go together once that bends up and turns the corner. Those will match up quite nicely. And then we'll start spreading adhesive on this and we're ready to start gluing it onto our back panel. Cool. The back panel is almost glued together. 
I think you used enough there. I hope so. You spread it a little thinner. Okay. You're good. It'll dry. Yeah, it's great. Can an edge be fixed if it shows a seam when slicked? You can keep sanding until you get out of that. I don't know. Have you ever tried to put glue into a seam and... I usually just keep sanding if I'm not happy. Oh, the edge is coming apart, trying to re-glue it after it's sewn? Yeah. Is that what he's talking about? Um, yeah, I've tried. <laughs> um, usually doesn't work quite like I want it to. These gussets are two to three ounces. Yeah, pretty thin. Um, honestly, I probably got them closer to two ounce whenever I split them. But you want them to be pretty thin so that they'll fold nicely once the bag is assembled. I, I was cleaning my fingers and it was a bit of a snap. Yes, sorry, Tony. Sorry, I was still reading comments when I was like, switch cameras. So I was snapping when Clayton got it. Oh, I guess maybe I'll just relay this back out. Exciting plans for Memorial Day weekend? Me? Yeah. Um, Packing up for a trip. Yeah, I'll be. Oh, I don't work Monday. Oh, that's weird. So I'll only be here Tuesday next week. <laughs> what? Wait. Oh, yeah. I thought about it the other day. Two to three. Oh, oh the gusset was two to three? Uh huh. Okay. Did you answer that and I missed it? Uh mm huh. -hmm. Cool. Thank you. Yeah. I'm really finding ways to lessen my workload so I can come over here and talk more because now I don't even have to be at my computer. To I know, the I can, I can just be see over, things. You can read it or I can read it. It leaves much more room for me to talk, which I think is going to make people yeah. really, really happy. We need you on camera more. Yeah, because really. Clayton loves mouth noises if you didn't know. I'm not done. <laughs> uh, yeah, except for I think my, my issue is that I have really just been stuck over here on the, on the left and I haven't really moved through to the other one. <laughs> So I'm sorry, Michael, on Facebook. Had I known, I would have made Clayton a sad bear. <laughs> Trust me, he knows how sad we all are. Thanks, guys. You know what would be cool? Is if we took like a... Yeah, $10 million would be cool. And what if we took like a whole side of Herman Oak and we thin it down where it's still like tooling way? And like we did a little tooling on it and then sent it off to somebody else and they did a little tooling on it and then they shipped it off to somebody else. And we just had this whole SLC project that just like went around. Tooling and telephone. Tooling telephone. That would be interesting. Oh, yeah, that would be weird. Most of the things I come up with are pretty weird. I forgot, I forgot a leather ruffer. Did you need that? Well, I used it yesterday. Yeah, I could use Shipping it. Shipping might be expensive. Yeah. Leather ruffer. Okay. Thank you. All right, so while that's getting put together, I can go ahead and stick this. I've got a little top strip. It's like a decorative top strip that'll go on the top of the center divider right here. You can see it placed in this bag. If you look inside that strip right there, it's just a decorative strip. It keeps it all matching whenever you look at the interior at first glance. It also provides a little bit of support to yep. your top edge. Yep, it does. Keeps it rigid. So I'm going to go ahead and glue that down. We'll have to rough that when she gets back with the leather rougher. Oh look, she's back. That was fast. Mama told me not to run with scissors, but she didn't say nothing about a rougher. <laughs> <laughs> Amen.
Those look like Kevin's feet. Look, sure is. Recognize those New Balance anywhere. <laughs> Hello, good sir. Hello, what's up, Kevin? Are you here to witness the legacy? You guys are making really fancy high-end stuff. Will you come over in front of that sound panel so I can move this camera so decided, I can see you? We decided to try something new. Oh, making good stuff instead Make, of the other? Exactly. Yeah. Well, we gotta switch it up every once in a while. Why are you taking my picture, Tony? <laughs> Everybody wants to see you. No, they don't. Say hi. Hi. There you go. <laughs> well, no. Yeah, look how fancy that is. I sent you a text, and I just figured that since you didn't immediately leap to my <laughs> command, I figured, well, you must have had something more important to do, and I can see now that you do. We're a little caught up here. A little caught up. That is absolutely beautiful as to what you're working on. Is that Baroda leather? Um, this is the, the outside the harness double shoulders. Oh, mm -hmm. everybody bridal double shoulders. Well. The bridal double shoulders. Hello, sorry. everybody. Thank you for being kind. That's that's just looking nice. So well, what thanks. are you going to make a kit out of that? It's going to be a, a one pattern. of our new patterns. Yeah. Not a kit. There would be too many parts. <laughs> that's, a, that's a great pattern. Yeah. It's his legacy. But I have not the been legacy. motivated to do something <laughs> of that nature in quite a while. I might have to try that. Is this motivating you? Oh. Seeing it come together? It's really not that hard of a bag I'm, to put I'm going to need some new talent, Kevin, a lot of when work. he's gone. So, you know, if you're ever in, in the market to do some high-end bags with me, I'm up for it. I'm, I'm more in the market to do roll, rolling leather. <laughs> anyway... Well, I have a question for you. So we, and, and maybe some of the ones watching, we just got some of the coolest cool leather from the Anderson Bean Boot Company. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. And it is, like, super, super extraordinarily nice. So, unfortunately, we don't have huge quantities of anything, but we have pretty good small quantities you know so you're going to want to come down and look at that to see if that's something you want to put in your live sales for the future because well, it is don't. really pretty darn rude. so did you text me i did okay for some reason i thought that you were talking to clayton and i was like this is a weird thing to talk to clayton about <laughs> why would i text you and talk to clayton i, d I don't know i was confused anyways sure i'd be super excited to come look at that after this. I will let the proper authorities know that you're super excited. We can't hardly wait. We'll leave it out there for you to look at. Sweet. There you go. Thank you. I'm leaving. Bye. And everybody says Thanks, they love Kevin. your helmet hair. Yeah. I said it was leather rolling hair. <laughs> All right. You got that glued back together. I sure did. Fantastic. So I'm going to go ahead and rough the edges on this so that we can glue our gusset down. I'm going to let you glue the gusset. Just, I don't know if I trust you to rough the edges. I roughed them. You're punk. Why is it that? But you do it. I it's fine. Posting. I just hear it in your voice. Posting. You. I'm just that. Oh. Nice like shot. When you tell a little fear, get it. I just imagine you go, get it. <laughs> get it. What did you say, Tony? Did you say nice shot, Clayton? Yeah, because because I'm controlling all the cameras. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I can only blame you for staying for three more days. <laughs> That's not true. I could probably blame you for a while. Yeah, you're yeah, welcome to Yeah, we'll have, we'll have plenty have of Have at it when I'm gone. Scapegoat! That, that must have been Clayton since he's not here anymore. Oh, freaking Clayton. That'll be my legacy. <laughs> not this bag. Not this bag. You guys will make it up. You think the Pony Express four to five ounce oil tan would be good for this legacy grief case? Um, your edges will be a little bit different. You'll have to yeah. token all them. Um, you're gonna want something to firm it up a little bit. Um, it's been a while since I've done anything with the Pony Express. Does it have a pretty soft tan? No, it's pretty no, firm. Is it pretty firm? Yeah. Um, yeah, you're gonna want to use some tokenol or, or edge paint your edges. I like using the bridle or this natural harness leather because it gives it some structure. Uh, you're able to get your parts much thinner and still have the rigidity that you need for this thing to stand up and really work. You could do it out of an oil tan. Um, you might just have to adjust the weight on some of the parts to keep that stiffness. All right. 
if you want to spread some adhesive around that edge, I'm going to go ahead and sew this up. Okay. And then I've got adhesive on the edge of one of these gussets that will stick around it. Aye, aye, Captain. Aye, aye. Kevin, we use pound dough. P O U N D O. Search it on our website and you shall find it. Thin layers this time. Very thin. Who's going to do the teddy bear pattern on the live stream since we're doing all the patterns if, if uh, Clayton's leaving? That should be uh, Brian or Andy, I guess. Or Kevin. You could get Frida back. Get Frida back, there you go. That's probably your best time. I wonder how she's doing. Mm, I feel like I haven't seen her in a while, but she came in every now and again. You're welcome, Kevin. Now that's why it's called the Legacy Briefcase, Michael. Okay. We're going to get a picture of Clayton holding the bag so we can put him on the back. Sure. What's well, funny, I wonder if any of my family's watching. I haven't told any of my family that I got a new job. Oh yeah? No, I haven't told anybody. <laughs> they think you're just still going to work. Your wife comes in here to see where's Clayton at? Uh, well, I told my wife. Oh. The kids, really know. nobody outside of that. Like your parents and those well, kind of people? No, I don't told anybody. <laughs> your, your youngest daughter, probably. She wouldn't have made it this far into the video. No. She would have been bored by now. So she still doesn't know either. She's in school today anyway. When's her last day? Tomorrow. That's... They only go four days a week, though, don't they? They do. In their last week of school, they went Monday through Thursday. Typically, they go uh, Tuesday through Friday. Mm. Right. School is weird now. Yeah, school's pretty weird. The four-day school week is pretty nice. It just it kind of makes sense in my mind. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know why, but I just felt like we were with, um, homeschooled your kids. Me? Yeah. No. <laughs> I love them and all. I mean, it would be my wife homeschooling my kids, and I guess, I don't know if you've met my wife. But no, she's not the educator type. <laughs> She's a mother. She's just not the educator. <laughs> she's not the educator type. She's the yeah. instigator type. <laughs> I don't know that I would be either. That would be tough. Kudos to you guys that homeschool your kids, but I, I could have homeschooled my oldest one, but the youngest one I could not homeschool her. Yeah, I could do my girls. Like I could homeschool my girls, but my oldest boy, nah. no way. Not the yeah, one of my daughters, not the other one. She might be in here tomorrow. Oh, yes. Yeah, because yeah, they were the, today's their last day, and her yeah. babysitter has a doctor <laughs> appointment. So. All day. I don't know. I didn't ask any more questions about She's like, I got a doctor's appointment. I was like, okay, well maybe. Does I'll Bass Pro have a catalog? Uh, they have many. <laughs> Dean. What? <laughs> Let's try to stay on topic, okay? <laughs> Oh yeah, this is what the whole first video. Yeah, was. We can de we can deviate, but you guys you can't ask us about that. Shall I rough? I don't know yet. And glue both sides, or at least the top side. Yep. Okay. Yep. Go ahead and do the top side. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and see if we can stick this gusset down. I love all of these people know where you're going. Yeah, they do. <laughs> We're like family. Yeah, they, I mean, they probably see you more often than your family. Probably. It's not going to be designing boats. You're going to be designing rod holders for boats. 
just the rod holders. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and places to put them. Lots of them. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> we will never give you a break, not even till the end. Not even when you're gone. Yeah, not even when you're gone. Then we'll just have more fun. <laughs> We'll just have like a segment on every live that's like, what where in the world is Clayton? <laughs> like, what is Clayton doing? And we can all just like spend five minutes making up things about what we believe that Clayton is doing. I love that idea. <laughs> <laughs> like how the other day I saw Clayton stealing from a candy factory. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta feed them kids somehow. <laughs> Just need a little more length on this butt, I'm guessing. Need the old leather stretcher. Come on now. What does Marvin say, guys? Come on, honey. Come on, sweetheart. Sweetheart. That's what it is. Come on, sweetheart. He says that here. He doesn't say that when he's at home. Those are his words, not mine. <laughs> This is where a finisher would really come in handy. So usually I would take this to the finisher and then sand all my edges flush, get all that glue residue off there. I can do that here in a second and you can glue. All right, all right. You could kind of do it once the bag's assembled, but it would be difficult, less than ideal. Yeah, I'd like to do it before it's sewn. These corners have a little bit to be taken off. Um, you got a steel hammer in here? There it is. Mm -hmm. Make sure these are set. Taking your time doing a good glue job. Stuck in place. All right, guess it one complete. Go ahead and start spreading adhesive on this one. This is going to be the secondary guess that goes on the back of the divider. Go ahead and. Uh, you want to finish this edge? Yeah, I can finish that edge. Okay. The sponge that's in there is very saturated. Yeah, it's kind of gross. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I went to like pull it out. And I was it's like, really yeah. slimy. Yeah, it's. I don't think I could actually hold on to it. I'm still getting used to these using these little uh, spatulas. I'm a lot faster with a brush. Could you put a like a liner on both sides of this divider on the top so that you don't have an unfinished edge? Could you put a You could. Absolutely. You to. Yeah. This I mean this briefcase bag it already takes quite a bit of leather so I didn't line everything that I could have sure I mean you know talk about adding if you lined every piece that you needed to including your gussets your center panel divider you're probably talking another four square feet and just a lot of material to pack into one bag okay. 
Andrea left a message, Clayton, that says, we love homeschooling. Sometimes we even work in SLC live videos as our art lesson for the day. Nice. So does that mean right now you are possibly teaching, you are doing homeschooling? Who would have thought? homeschooling. Wow. Yeah. I can do a leather art segment, I guess, but... Like I said, man, I could do it with my with my two girls. Yeah. But but my boys, I just I don't see how it would work, man. How do you keep the uh, Renia glue from getting lumpy? Um, I mean, I've got it in the uh, the TS Boy glue pot right here, and mm -hmm. it's I don't know, a little bit chunky up towards the top a little bit, but you clean it out every once in a while. I mean, it's. Depending on, if you don't use it fast enough, it's going to get lumpy, right? It's going to start to dry out. There's not much you can do about it. So my suggestion would be just buy enough that you can use in a reasonable period of time and make sure it stays seals, sealed up. I think in their stuff, they recommend not adding water to it. I'm not going to say that I haven't before. Yeah, I think you can get away with thinning it a little bit with water, but yeah, minimal. You're not gonna you're not gonna bring it back from real chunky, dried out. You didn't hear that here. <sighs> Jim wants to know if he can get any. CEU credits for watching this game work. I don't know. Uh, have you ever used an emery board for sanding edges? I haven't. I haven't. It'd probably work pretty well. Oh, are you going to get to use your rawhide catfish bait when you're at Bass Pro? Are you going to get to engineer one of those? Going to work on boats, man. I don't know. Maybe I can get into work my way into baits. Yeah, I did make some pretty sweet rawhide lures at one point. I know we never got to get out and test them. We didn't. I tested. Uh, I made a rawhide spinner, like an inline spinner with a rawhide skirt on it, and uh, soaked it in some chicken blood to soften it up. And uh, actually, was able to catch some bass on it. Some nice. large mouth bass. Yeah, works pretty well. Yeah, I thought it was kind of clever at the time. Do you not feel the same anymore? You know, someone's probably done it already. I don't know. <laughs> Lost its cleverness? Lost its cleverness. <laughs> I think it's cool. And man, once you get that rawhide on your hook, though, man, that fish is not going to get it off. That's the nice part about it. And that, that smell of whatever you soak it in is going to stay in it for ever. Mm -hmm. The bad part is you got to stick it back in something, you know, you know, you got to keep it wet, which is going to eventually rust your hooks. So I don't know, it's got its ups and downs. I don't like lakes anymore because of what you fish. <laughs> Fishes in the lake are scary looking. Fishes in the lake? Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's literally no fish in the lake that's going to hurt you. But whenever I see those big old ones with their big long noses, I guess. The pad paddlefish? Gars? Yeah, that's a Gar or spoonbill? <laughs> big long noses. Big long noses. <laughs> Scary. Is that just saying that kind of stuff makes me want to draw a fish with a big nose. <laughs> Our graphic designer, Holly, everybody. Yeah. I'm using my talents for the good, I promise. Just think when you leave, Clayton, this is what our videos are going to entail. <laughs> I already know. Holly time. Holly time. I don't know if that's a good thing. All right. Oh, I need to come track that edge right there. Yeah, you do. Yeah, I do. Ew. Yeah, that's nasty. I told Nick that I got some candy today, so be ready, guys. <laughs> Remember when you saw the pole?
what we do, let's try to figure out who can do this the best. Okay. <laughs> Don't remember that. Good talk, yeah. They sell leather minnows for crappie fishing? Really? I didn't know that. What was the cause of that one glue not working a few SLCs back? Oh. Um, so I figured out that we went back and we tested the glue. The glue ended up being fine. I was totally wrong on that. I was using this natural harness and we had gotten just a really particularly waxy piece of this natural harness and um, it just would not stick to it whatsoever. We tried it on some regular like Hermit Oak Veg Tan and it worked fine. Um, I think it was just that particular piece that we had, had so much wax and oil in it. Um, man, it just kept soaking it up and would not let that glue stick for nothing. All right, that's ready to go. We gotta wait for her to get back uh, with that other piece. We'll put glue on the other side of the gusset and stick those together. Actually, we'll go ahead and sew around it first. Um, let's see, let that dry, where can we go from here, what are you doing Tony? I'm reading the chats. Okay. See you Salvador. I don't know how you could read that, it's so small. Yeah, they're making dandelion jellies and somebody wants to make a lilac jelly. Interesting. So I can move on and start doing a little bit of my uh, interior panel here. So we're going to start doing some pockets. We got some basting tape. And I would say the so are first. Those, are those lined out on the pattern itself? So, or is this designable, <laughs> customizable to your fit your needs? Exactly. So basically, we're going to leave this blank. This is going to be up to you guys to fill out. I'm. I haven't decided if I'm going to include some of these shapes yet or not. But really, you can put anything on here. I'm going to include a cell phone pocket, a few pen loops, some pockets for your, any of your cards, business cards, credit cards, whatever. And then we've got a little keychain holder with that I've already riveted on, with uh, removable. The, comes in half, right? So you got your split ring on one side. A detachable key ring. That's that's the word I was looking for. Yeah. I'm struggling today. Yeah, English is hard. It is. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and start sticking some of these parts down. I can use some basting tape for my cell phone pocket. That's my basic shape that I did. And we're going to so we're going to stick it down and stitch it just like that upside down first and then it'll flip up and the sides will stitch down. And she's back. It was a little terrible. Did you Just keep it even? I tried. It was very squishy. And so like I was standing one side and I was like kind of pushing hard and then I realized that I was just like flaring the edge, not really sanding all that well. So I had to go hammer it down and then had to take it really gently after that. Very light. So it's a, uh, yeah. It's a lot of thin layers trying to hold themselves together with a glue that's semi-dry. Yep. Appreciate the effort. I feel like it's still gonna need a little bit of work after you get it sewn, but. That's, that's fine. As long as you got it fairly flush and got some of that glue residue off, that'll yeah. help. Yeah, Oh, Charles, we got a picture coming from for you. Probably by the end of the week. Oh yeah. Do you want me to no, bevel no. it at all or just leave it? Charles, I'm really excited about it, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see if so. Uh, I'll stitch it. Okay. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and stitch that so we can keep moving on our front panel. Uh, I'm going to come in a little bit and do a little bit wider seam allowance. This is a thicker edge. I don't want to fall off the back. So let's screw this back in. <laughs> Tim said it's on my family crest. That was a little bit terrible. In quotes. <laughs> Let's check the back. Okay, so these are my strips and I need to make sure that the keeper will go around both of these. Yeah. Should be fine. Right.
so cute with little booty. Yeah, but in order to get them on her, she's gonna pee everywhere. So it's just not worth it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. We'll just imagine how cute she is. I hung up on something there. Don't mess up, Clayton. I'm trying. Sorry. Yeah, we hung up on something. Broke loose. Okay, I got something going on here. Hold on, guys. Uh -oh. mm, yeah. Now I did hang up and made a little bird's nest, and we started getting some weird knots on the top. So, give me just a minute. Reset. Do you want me to pull that? Yeah. Yeah, we lost tension on the bobbin. I know exactly where to find the seabird. There you go. Well, we gotta have one mishap for every video. Yep. It's not so bad, it can't be worse. Yep. You wanna do that under the overhead lens? Sure. Or we have to see the top of your head. Mm, I can attempt to not. What do you need? Oh, you're just waiting on me. Just waiting on you, yep. I can go ahead and start sewing on this interior panel. Okay. You can go every four or five stitches. You should be able to rip it out. Try not to stab my leather too much. Just the edge that I'm going to bevel off anyways. <laughs> That's good. question that we have at Sheridan. We don't have a booth at Sheridan, but Rusty and Chad, Chad and Ryan, Ryan and Brandon and Brandon were all out there. And we did do a Glowforge class. class. Yeah. Yeah. Chad did a Glowforge class and we had a Glowforge shipped in and then we gave it away. <clears throat> it's way better than having some lame booth. That's right. Gave away old Glowforge. We should set up set up a booth. Sounded like it was a pretty popular raffle. Yeah, like three hundred and something entries, which is quite a bit for that small show. Yeah, that's probably like everybody that went to the show. <laughs> what if we didn't have a booth, but you and I went and did live shopping somewhere? <laughs> like a live just out in the mountain. Just out just, the mountain. Out just the outside. Mountains, out in the mountain somewhere. <laughs> People come out to where it's like super echoey, so we don't need any sound amplification and we can just Talk. yell auctions. Oh, like do it in a <laughs> like an amphitheater. Yeah. Go like in a in a cavern or what's a little place like a a cavern, right? Yeah. Two mountains on like either side valley. and a like valley. a valley. Right in the middle of a river we just set up our tail full of leather. In the middle of a river? That'll be a small river. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then whenever a little you guys, stream going under it. Like throw Nick the leather, you have to like chuck it so it doesn't get wet. <laughs> Do you want me to tear out all of it or will you just start? <laughs> I'm not in the um, I can start it. I can splice the stitch. Okay. <laughs> Dana, Dana said she would rather learn from your mistakes than her own. Fair enough. Okay. That's how we do these videos. Or him, I can't tell what we're looking at there. The image is small. 
All okay. right, my tape's not sticking very well, so I'm gonna go for it. I've got a line marked on my interior panel where I want the edge of this cell phone pocket to line up. And so I'm gonna try and keep the leather along that line while I stitch it, and it's gonna be a trick. It's gonna be a trick. Good luck, don't forget back stitch. Supply coffee again at Sheridan? Sure did. Aaron from Makers gave Rusty a shout out for supplying the coffee. I think he, I think Rusty's always giving Aaron crap. He's like, I'm gonna make sure that you got a cup that says Springfield leather on it. <laughs> <laughs> so I will, I will supply the coffee. All right, I got you to the beginning of the hoopla, also known as Bird's Nest. Mm -hmm. I did see the picture, Andrea. Rocking that pink shirt. We'll probably do another one this year. We'll probably sell it for longer than a week this time. We'll try to be a little bit more prepared, but honestly, we don't make any promises. So. We always think that we're going to try to be prepared. Sometimes. Yeah, Liz was never a Boy Scout. <laughs> Sometimes we surprise ourselves. Or, or a Girl Scout. Oh, you, you didn't sell cookies or popcorn? No, I didn't. All right. Good. Mm -hmm. All right, let me finish this pocket real quick, and then we'll stitch that up. We're just all over the place. What time is it? I mean, you're doing? 48 minutes in. Okay, we're doing okay. We got this. Stick the other side of this, or attempt to. Hmm. Look at that great shot that's set up. Oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Don't keep you on your toes, buddy. <laughs> no. Oh, look at that! Now the what is that all about? Oh, the cute little picture in the corner. All the way in the bottom, and little bitty, adorable. All right, again, it's not gonna stick for me. I made this pocket about five ounce and it's got, it's got some strength to fight back with. <laughs> so we're gonna get it lined up the best we can and go for it. It's got a fighting pocket today. Come on. Work with me here. Clayton, when you do hand stitching, when you get to the end of it and you back stitch, do you tie a knot or just burn your ends? Depends on the thread I'm using. If I'm using something like the Nile text that'll actually melt together, then mm -hmm. I'll just burn it. But if, if I'm use using a like a linen thread, mm -hmm. then I'll usually tie a knot. All right, dude. <laughs> this is a finger fight. I'm about done with. Stick. Stay. Good pocket. What does Andrea mean that she was kicked out of GS? What is that? Maybe it's grade school. Oh, I don't know. What were we talking about? Alright. Oh. 
she was kicked out of the Girl Scouts. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that makes more sense. What did you do, Andrea? All right, well, I think I did okay if I see so myself. Much it's a great pocket game. Good night. Oh, my God. So now so, we just need to train that leather a little bit so we don't end up with a wrinkle on the back. It's a feisty phone pocket. No kidding. Feisty phone pocket. Rivet it on that of stone. Blasphemy. It's got to be sewn. The only bad thing about riveting everything is you have to have such a wide margin. Margin, yeah, for yeah. You to sink your rivets in. Everything ends up huge. All right, so let's go ahead and finish the stitch on this thing. Liz was kind enough to pull out the threads where it had gotten caught up. Good luck, buddy. Thanks. So I'm gonna splice the stitch down here near the corner. Now we're gonna go about four or five stitches back. <laughs> Andrea said nothing, and then Angel. Seems legit. We don't judge. to punch the slots. How do you get them to, like, they're so little. Yeah, they're tiny. <laughs> I need a little single chisel. Did you bring that? No, I don't think so. No. I thought you would figure it out. I think that's what you call a hidden stitch. Oh, there it is. <laughs> You know what would be cool? If we had like our own studio that was just a studio and it was just set up like uh, your workbench over there and just everything was in here. Yeah, yeah, wouldn't it? It's hard to have everything for every project. I guarantee you not everything is at my workbench. But if it was just a whole room this size of just stuff? Like tools? Yeah, not people. Literally a bin all the way around the room. Oh, and you could just, we just have a camera that rotates as you move and it just follows you. Somewhere we just did videos like this. Yeah, like a, an and SLC studio. There's not six desks, is there? Mm -mm. Just five. five. Yeah, five. Oh, so you're good. One desk is getting ready to be uninhabited. Yep. Grace leaving us? Yeah. Her internship is over. Nice. She did her due diligence. We have taught her all she needs to know about SLC. <laughs> Dang. She goes, these people are wacko. <laughs> Do a little bit of marketing and have a whole lot of fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so I got an eighth inch chisel because that was the smallest that I could find. Go for it. Okay. Yeah, it's not gonna hurt little, little pitch should hold. Alright, 
we got our gusset sewn onto our front panel. I'm gonna go ahead and spread some adhesive around the other edge of the gusset and we're gonna stick it down to our center divider. Are you, are you taking this briefcase with you when you go? Is this here? <laughs> I don't know if I can do that. Okay, good. I needed a new one to care. This is, is a... Under $25? Uh, yeah, it's pretty close. <laughs> if you were going to sell one like this, what would you sell it for? Um, an all leather briefcase, handmade. By Clayton. By Clayton? Whoa! Whoa! One million dollars. One million dollars. Do we want to start an auction? Yeah. Like, start a, a bid. I don't know, something like this. Um, I, th I think you get away with charging, uh, depending on your market, Anywhere between six hundred and twelve hundred dollars. I mean, you can really sell them for quite a bit online. Again, depending on your marketing. Yeah. I don't have any cute little baby pliers in here. Melissa, I need baby pliers. I know you're watching. <laughs> like little bent nose would Did be. Did you just cool. say toothless? I said Melissa. Do you need some toothless pliers? Is that what you said? Little baby pliers. Little baby pliers. Bent nose. Yes, yeah, so bent nose would be great. Okay. I know you're listening. Yeah, I was just out there. And she looked at me, she's like, oh, what did you need? And I was like, oh, just a... Michael said he sold one made out of vintage for 700 Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. If you're hand sewing it, you know, just double that. <laughs> yeah, for sure. What if you're sewing with your feet? Then triple that. I mean, <laughs> that's special skills. I bet. No, and you got a whole story behind it, too, yeah. Right? This whole bag was made by my feet. <laughs> What's next, Clayton? Waiting on this glue to dry. Oh. I feel like well, that's that would fun. go over either really, really well with some people or really, really well. See, I told you. There she is. Thanks, Melissa. She's here. Nice. Are they? They're also toothless. This is cool. Thank you. Either you know what? I know, I saw you out there. All right, while that glue is drying, I'm gonna keep going on our interior panel and I'm gonna start sewing on our uh, pin loops. So the pin loops I did here, where you at, Tony? Well, where you at, bud? I'm trying to get to you. Yeah, that'll work. So the pin loop strip that I did here, I've got it marked out. Um, I've got a one inch space here and then we're gonna have a half inch that's gonna be sewn flat and then a one inch space. And each one, each one of these one inch spaces, I've got it marked on my pattern where I'm going to bunch it together into three quarters of an inch space. Does that make sense? So for every one inch on the strip, we're gonna sew it down to three quarters inch space on the actual panel. And then we'll actually create pucker? the loop. Make it pucker. How do you have a, three qu uh, a quarter inch pucker factor. <laughs> How did you know that that was your measurements? Experience? <clears throat> Experience, yeah. Years on the job, man. It's not nothing you can come by easily. No, just, yeah, I mean, trial and error. I mean, I looked at the kind of pins that I think I want to fit into this case. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, measure it out. Kind of mold it over one and see where I would want to stitch it on either side and how long I'm going to need it to be. So. Here we go. Here we go. Now this is another one I'm gonna kinda of try to hold in place while I do it because there's not a great way to get adhesive. Actually, I've got several flat sections I can place some adhesive on. Let's do that, because that'll help a little bit. I think this is the first time I have used belt keeper staples. <laughs> Look how cute those are. Look at it. And an eighth inch chisel worked quite well because then even if they're maybe off a little bit vertically, you can kind of move them around a little bit. And you really can tell. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, those are nice. If, if, if you're doing a keeper with an exposed back, that's those keeper staples right? are a good way to go. They're pretty classy. Hmm. I, made, I made keepers. <laughs> okay. Charles bids $2.99 repeating. Thanks, Charles. That's not insulting in the slightest. <laughs> how much he cares for your legacy. 
All right, what's next? Do you want me to bevel and burnish the straps, or do you need me to do something else? Uh, if this glue is dry and tacked up, then you're ready to stick it down to your center panel. Oh, you want me to do that? You could do that, right? Okay. <laughs> okay. Should I start with the bottom and work my way up, or should I start with the top side, work my way down on both sides, and then complete the bottom? If you want to start with the, what might be easier uh, is start with the bottom corner, and then make sure your bottom gusset spans as far as you need it to. Get your corners ma matched up, and okay. then stick up your sides. Okay. That should work fine. I didn't say anything. <laughs> Cut to a different shot. Looks like I had the needle bent a little too far. Turns out that in all of these videos, we're going to break a needle. All right. How many needles does it take for this bag? So far, at least three. At least three. Damn. Did you break a needle while I was gone? No. Okay. We're here. This is the first one. <laughs> Sorry guys, just a second. Pause. Is this panel supposed to sit down a little bit? these gussets. I did, but those gussets are not cut that way. Okay. Just double checking. <laughs> oh my gosh, will it stop raining? It's gonna rain like today and tomorrow. 
Yeah. 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 Sorry guys, I think pin loops are new the <coughs> most boring thing to watch be stitched. I'm sure everyone is completely enthralled and fascinated. We've never done them before. They're a hoop. <laughs> it's like bullet loops. Yeah. Okay, do you want me to put glue on the back side of this now? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, so we're up, but what I figured is hopefully the other one will come up and it'll pinch it and it'll kind of hold that top together. Yep. Okay. It's part of the master plan. Cool. Glad to hear it. That's what I assumed. <laughs> Complete faith. <I> <laughs> this one, I'm going to stitch from the bottom. Mm, my cat decided that she just needed to be outside this morning too. So, wow, she makes really bad decisions, you know. She's she getting serious now. Yeah, she just doesn't have a lot of forethought. <laughs> She's not a, a sky watcher to to see how the day is gonna go and she then make a decision. The yeah, I don't think so. Mm. I don't like cats. Dogs really do check the weather before they stay outside. God, all of my dogs are wimps when it comes to weather. Do we have pink leather firm enough, firm enough for briefcase sack? We sure do. We've That's got our drum dyed, drum dyed pink veg. It would be perfect for this. Tori got her live shopping box. Let's just listen to it rain for a second. Isn't that nice? I feel like some kind of came out of nowhere. It wasn't even really raining. Shh, Grace. <laughs> We're getting our ASMR rain vibes. I've only got a couple more days to give Grace any grief either. We talked about how sweet she was, and then her boyfriend, now fiance, well, it's like they have not been around you long enough to know how salty you are. As you can see, she currently has a salt shaker on her desk. <laughs> it's just a little one, though. She didn't earn the, the big Tony salt shaker? No, huh? Not a lot of people get that title. Oh, I, I kept, I've kept being like worried that by the time I get around to go floating this spring, like all the rivers are going to be down. Well, it'll be a short trip. Um, but You'll yeah, the same distance, but you're going to fly down. The I really don't think that I need to be worried about that. We should we should take a big SLC floating trip. I don't think that we should. <laughs> <laughs> That's a terrible. I think that would be worse than the volleyball shenanigans. You say floating. Yeah. Let's go around right now. You could probably go down the alley, or I mean, the parking lot because it comes down to a V. Yes. It gets um, it gets pretty bad out there. I remember when you and I worked for the sign company. It flood, and the whole street of Glenstone nearly was covered in like at least two foot deep. Yeah, I didn't think the other day. Maybe it was like Monday, or maybe it was last Friday. We were coming down. Bennett's not the one behind us, is it, or is it? What's the one on the but south side? It's like two streets down. Portland? Portland. We were coming down Portland, and there was an intersection, and I almost thought that my little Honda Fit was going to bottom out <laughs> with all of the rain. I was, like, tootling through real slowly, oh. and I was like, this looks sketchy, but I made it. It was all right. My goodness. Is that water I bet Jim is. Yeah, that's a roof drain. We gene out. Oh my god, what is this? The maintenance. We just all this stuff. Oh, uh, well, if it. If it that's a we would place an insurance claim. Leaving. Chad would not have a computer. Well, he would have a computer. He would just 
Um, you want to walk. Okay, and then we already have glue on the other one, so this one just needs to dry. And then we need to glue the welt down. Or are we doing the welt to there first before here? No, that doesn't make any sense. It'll sew onto the back. Okay, we'll need to glue, yeah, stick that, gusset yeah. it down, and okay. we'll stitch around the center of the okay. Got an off topic again. No, what? We're still on top. I, the rest of the room was talking about rain drains. I need to clean my gutters again. Yeah, I do too. So where are we at on our project? Oh, we are. The gusset? Yeah, we're, we're letting glue dry. Yep. So we've got the front panel assembly gusseted. Now we've got our center divider on the back of that gusset. And we'll have a second gusset to go around here. We'll stitch that on. And then we're going to complete our interior panel with our pockets. Cool. Yeah. Michael on Facebook has a couple questions there, Liz, and some comments for Clayton. I can't hardly read it. So Michael said, no matter how spiteful or mad we sound about you leaving, we do wish you safe travels and happy landings. Oh, thanks, Michael. He's not going that far. Not too far. Uh, let's hear Clayton. Not far enough that he can't come back. Could one put another piece of leather between the back and the pen holder you're putting in now? So if the pen leaks, the back of the bag does not get discolored. Uh, yeah, so basically putting your pen loops on another panel. Okay. Yeah, no, that's that's not a bad idea. And that does make sewing them on a lot easier because you can actually just sew them onto that panel and then just sew a rectangle. I think it's a great idea. I don't know why I didn't do it on this one. But yeah, I've seen it done that way before and I've done them that way. But that's a good idea just in case your pen leaks. Especially, you know, using a black piece of leather. It'd be perfect. I'm going to start right. putting some tape on these card pockets that we're going to stick on the interior. And we don't have any eighth inch basting tape right now, so I'm using quarter inch and just hanging half of it off. Are we never going to have eighth inch basting tape ever again? This thing just takes forever for us to get it. We better get it again or the sewing room is going to have a riot. <laughs> Sorry, riot! Isn't that some Twitch thing? I mean, uh, TikTok thing? I don't, I don't know, know, man. Okay. I'm not that hip into social yeah, media. I don't think you guys... I'm like a pretend social media <laughs> user. <laughs> oh, oh, I think you're a that's normal a adult <laughs> user. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I don't know if I can see that Oh my gosh, okay. Come on. And that one is pinched together at the top. Okay. I think that's a song, Tony. Like, I can hear the song in my head. I'll do it. Uh, Nick said it was a three day grace, so. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Nick. Thank you very much. I got Yeah. <laughs> Nick Springfield in the house. Ooh, Clayton, this is a little short. Make it longer. <laughs> Did you start on the bottom? Yeah, I started on the bottom. It kind of looks like you started at this top corner. I did not. I started at the mm. bottom. Okay. And I worked my way up. Oh, I meant across. Well, I mean. That'll be good. You can stretch it.
how Oklahoma is doing. Apparently, Denny and his wife are digging uh, crystals. Oh wow! In the salt flat, so hope they, not they may or may not be having a good time. We're supposed to go down to the Buffalo River in Arkansas this weekend and float. I'm hoping it doesn't flood out. You got a few days for it to. Well, hopefully it'll have a few days to calm itself. I think so. All right. And I am almost done with this interior, which means we should be getting close to running out of time. <laughs> So one little thing, and I don't know if you talked about it while I was gone, uh, these fun little interior accessories that Clayton is putting on won't be included in the pattern, but if you're this advanced to be making this, just come up with your own fun parts. So we just cut some of the, like the um, credit card uh, panels that we have for just our minimalist wallet, which is what he's using there. Um, and then just have fun with whatever accessories you or your client would like to see on the inside of the bag. You do know that soon we are coming out with our T-shaped pockets and other oh, yeah. pockets. So just our... You, you could add that in there too. Yep, absolutely. Two different styles and what, eight colors, Clayton? So this our standard? Yeah, the standard. Mm -hmm. Brown, black, and pig, and buffalo. Uh, is there a reason you didn't make tea pockets for the car slots instead of full pockets on each? Because mm, I didn't have a cutting die for that. <laughs> <laughs> and in our, our uh, weekly rush to get ready for videos, I'll try to utilize some of the cutting dies that we have as much as possible to save me some time. And in this case, we didn't have a tea pocket for this, these vertical card slot pockets. Yeah, I was going to say, all of our tea pockets are horizontal, so it wouldn't Correct. have fit. Correct. Yeah. Yep. So I'll have to go back and clean some of that up with a modeling tool and get rid of some of those presser foot marks. But we got it all together. Okay. So now we're ready to sew around this. This is going to be around our center divider. Yeah, so we've got both of our gussets on. We're going to go ahead and sew this seam right there all the way around. That's it's fixed. lined up pretty well, so it should be easy to sand later. Hopefully. Don't fall off. Don't fall off. Got it. Okay.
Yep. How do you clean up the presser foot lines with a modeling spoon? You got that, Liz? <laughs> It's a great question. Maybe I should get a modeling spoon so you can do it on one plate. Yeah, I've got I've got a modeling spoon in my pouch. In your pouch, you're basically you just go through. And just it doesn't have to be a modeling tool. Um, it could be anything. You just don't want any sharp edges to where you're going to risk scratching or further denting the leather. But we're just going to kind of rub the the marks out and flatten the leather. Michael, there is nothing different if you did saddle stitch on this. You're just going to be doing it by hand. Yep. Looks like we didn't fall off. Good to go. Sweet. We'll be able to still sand those edges and clean them up a little bit, but we got it stitched all the way around. Both of our gussets are attached. I've got our interior panel sewn with all the pockets. So that's about as far as we really. What time is it? 12 30. 12 30? Yeah, that's about as far as we wanted to go today. Next time we're going to be um, assembling this to the back panel. Uh, but before that, we'll be uh, crafting the flap, uh, the rest of the closure system, finishing the straps, handle, and back pocket. Yeah, so we just have to assemble this whole thing, and then we'll attach everything that we've done to that. Yep, so still a fair bit of work to do. Um, you guys might want to tune in next time to see the, the internal stiffener that we made for this to make sure the top of that bag stays square for years to come as it gets carried from the top. And um, our nifty little padded handle here. Yeah. You said so. you have your pouch in here. I do. Okay, hang on. You're gonna. Can you do it right there where it's at? But let me get this camera set first. Okay. Are you? Gonna, oh, I was gonna do it on yep. card pocket. We're getting there. there. Sure. Striker. Striker is interested in your modeling spool, modeling spoon demonstration. Oh yeah. Liz, well, can you hit three? On it's the really switcher? nothing fancy. We're just gonna go through and push out some of those presser feet marks. How's that look? Good. Okay. Can you keep it in that shot? Uh, maybe I mean, it pull looks... it down a little bit because the top, the bottom of the shot is fuzzy. Well, that's, just tell me when better. I get into focus. That should, that should be. You guys can see that. It's a little fuzzy, but you can see it. Anyway, we're just there you go. There you go. Modeling tool, and then like I said, you want to be careful to not use a sharp angle so that you're not going to dent it with either the the rear or the front of the spoon or the tip. And we're just gonna push some of these marks out and literally flatten the leather. And since this is a bridal leather or a vegetable tan leather, able to work it out and smooth the leather down. Also, I mean, it'll work on an oil tan leather just the same, but you won't have as quite as severe presser foot marks. Yeah, hopefully that shows you. Keep on trying to catch your hand. Uh focus on. Clayton's just massaging leather right now. Yeah, that's it's just that's all a nice doing. little leather massage. <laughs> that's it. It's a little medium, medium pressure Swedish massage over there. Hmm. Limited oil, though. Limited oil. Yeah. Well, you know, you could use a little bit of oil if, depending on oiling your whole project. Can't really just oil one section of a project because it's going to get everywhere. You're going to have spots. If you're using natural veg, you could wet it a little bit. Like you could wet the pockets a little bit and work it back down. Yeah. Uh, this bridle isn't really going to absorb any water because it's finished and waxy. But. So that'll help it like help it look a little bit better. Um, another thing you can do on some of your flat sections is go through just uh, put your project on a granite and use a steel 
smooth headed like cobbler's hammer and just tap your seams down and that'll help relieve a lot of the, your presser foot marks. <laughs> All right, anything else? Uh, uh, you yeah, you literally just it. answered the question. Yeah. All righty. That's all I got. So Friday will be the finish up of this, mm -hmm. not the trading cards. Correct. Yep. Friday we'll be finishing up because we don't have an option to continue next week if yeah, someone is leaving. Yep. Uh, so we've got Friday. So we'll probably bump trading cards to maybe next Friday, depending on how quickly Denny gets that bag done. We'll see. Yep. Yeah. All righty. We'll see you on Friday, guys. Oh, and then tomorrow for everybody, tomorrow will be the the last week of live shopping, and then we're taking a break. Oh, there's no videos next week. No videos next week. I yep. I keep talking about, no, there will be zero videos next week. I'm headed to Atlanta. He's headed to Tennessee. And Alabama. And Alabama. So uh, no videos next oh week, gosh. guys. What we're taking, we're taking a summer break. How long has it been since you guys took a break? Uh, at the, probably it would have never. Been. I mean, the last time we took a live shopping was in November, but we didn't take a break from like regular videos. Oh my so gosh. I know you're like leaving and we just quit. We're I just know. Just calling right? it quits. It's, it's over. It's gonna take a week off. Yeah. Yeah. So like no. Two years or so. Yeah. So everybody, get your get your fix in this week because next week we're gonna be on summer vacation. Yes. All right. Okay. Yeah. See you guys. Bye.